welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, I would love if you stuck around. Um, today I'm doing another fun collab. This is going to be my top five Weight Watchers snacks. My favorite snacks on Weight Watchers. These are also really calorie friendly, so if you follow me just based on calories, this is going to be um, maybe new to you. Hopefully some good ideas. Um, there's a lot of great people in this collab. This is hosted. That's my cat. If you're new here, he's everywhere. Um, this is hosted by Denise over at Dish with D. She has an awesome channel, very informative. She's super real. I really love her stuff. So definitely get in touch with her down below. I'll also put everybody else's um, links and um, their names down in the description box. You can find a lot of new motivation if that's what you're looking for. All of my snacks today, no, <laughs> he's trying to use a bag. Um, all of my snacks today are one um, to two smart points, depending on the amount that you have, but I'm pretty pumped about it. So let's get started. So number one, this is probably my favorite because it's zero smart points, and it is um, the Mott's Unsweetened Applesauce. I recently, I recently found the ones in the little pouches. So these are 40 calories per pouch. My boyfriend thinks it's weird to eat it out of the pouch. He thinks it's like baby food. I like it though. I think it's good because I don't have to waste plastic spoons at work or wash a spoon all the time. Like I just eat it straight out of here and throw it away. It's just easier. Um, and I'm obsessed with these. So these are zero smart points. You have to get the unsweetened ones. They also have these in flavors. There's like a strawberry one, a cherry one, a blueberry one, um, and those come unsweetened as well. I find these at HEB, but I think you can also get them at Walmart too. Um, and yeah, these don't have any sugar added. These are my favorite. I usually have one of these after lunch every day. It's just like something sweet and it kind of holds me over until I'm ready for like an afternoon snack or something. Uh, so the next snack is kind of two versions of the same snack. It's cheese. Um, this one is the Baby Bell Light. I love this stuff. This is probably the better tasting of the two. Um, these are 50 calories each. Then um, I like the H-E-B string cheese. This is mozzarella. It's 70 calories each. Um, also really delicious. One smart point for each of these. I don't think they double. I think you can have two for two smart points of both. Um, and I really love these. I do think the Baby Bell just tastes better. It's just kind of a better, I don't know. I don't know what type of cheese it is, but it's good. I'll tell you that. And then the string cheese is also delicious. Um, this is a lot more cost effective. So if you're trying to stay on a budget, you can get like 20 of these for like $2 or something like that. And then these are, um, they come in a bag whoo, with 10 of them. They come in a bag with 10 and they're like $5. Okay, so next is the tzatziki dip. This is the Cedars Tzatziki. If you watch my meal preps, you've already seen this in one of my meal prep videos. I used it in a lunch though, not a snack. And this stuff it is so good. You can have two tablespoons of this for one smart point. The calories are two tablespoons for 35 calories. This stuff is delicious. I, don't, I wasn't even sure I liked Tzatziki dip. Sometimes cucumber, I'm into it. Sometimes I'm not, but this stuff is amazing. I seriously love it. It's so delicious. It's made with Greek yogurt, but it doesn't have that like tart weird dry finish if you know what I'm talking about super delicious this would be really good with just more cucumbers or a cracker or carrots or whatever type of um, vegetable you like and it lasts a really long time that and I just love that it's low in calories and low um, low in smart points the cedars this brand I find it at HEB I've heard they have it at Walmart actually I've seen it at Walmart um, this is what it looks like ignore my disgusting nails but um, they also have a spinach artichoke dip or something that I've been wanting to try also. So as soon as I see that one, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, moving on. This is kind of like an oldie but goodie. Everyone knows about the Sabra hummus, but the roasted red pepper, I never thought I would like it, so I never bought it. I was just buying the original because to me, the garlic one is like way, way too salty. I don't know what it is, but I just cannot do it. Um, I love the Sabra brand hummuses. I know every like not everybody loves them, but I'm a Sabra fan. And uh, the roasted red pepper is my absolute favorite. They have the roasted red peppers in the middle and they are so dang good. This is one tablespoon for one smart point and it doesn't double. So you can have four tablespoons for four smart points, etc. cetera. Um, this stuff is amazing. I actually just bought this today in my grocery haul and it is good until June 21st and today is like May 12th. It's Mother's Day today. So, Sorry if you can hear my cat, he's scratching on his thing. But um, I love this stuff. I like this with carrots. <laughs> he ran up here real quick. 
I like this with carrots, especially the kinds that are cut kind of like chips. Those are so good. Or, um, I mean, whatever type of carrots you have. This would be good with cucumbers or just have like a pita chip or a, um, like a Tostitos, what is that called? Like a tortilla chip. Those you can easily fit into your day too. Um, love this stuff. This is good on wraps. I mean, you can't go wrong. Delicious. So I love that. Then my number five snack, fifth and final, this is kind of a new thing for me. This is the Jell-O brand sugar-free pudding. So this is the chocolate and vanilla one. It's just like the swirl. It's 60 calories, two smart points. I honestly, I feel like it should be one smart point if we're being completely honest because it's 60 calories, but not the point. These are good until July. I don't know why I'm telling you the, the good, like this, the best buy date, but I just feel like it's important. These come in packs of four at my grocery store. Um, they're really inexpensive. You buy them in like the cold section, buy like the um, like the sour cream and stuff. And I really love this stuff. It's only 60 calories. These are good for like an afternoon snack or right after lunch if you like to eat something, uh, something sweet. I think these are really good. And I don't think that the aftertaste is very strong. I think if you were Thinking about it, it has a little bit of an aftertaste, I won't lie, but um, it doesn't bother me at all. And usually I'm like anti aftertaste, like if it has one, I can't eat it. But this doesn't bother me. I think that this is really actually pretty good. So this is my fifth and final snack. Um, everything I shared today, I know this is probably not groundbreaking by any means, but this is stuff that I have in my fridge 99% of the time. I mean, basically 100% of the time, I always always have hummus and cheese. I've been buying, this is my second case of this, or my second tub of the Cedars Tzatziki. Um, I always have applesauce, like these are my staples, my absolute go-tos. They're low in points, they're delicious, they get me through like my day to day, and I really never get tired of them. And I also know if I'm in a hurry and I just have to throw stuff in my lunchbox, I am safe for any of this or all of it in one day and I won't go over my point value. So that's kind of why I like these things, because they're low. Um, and I know that I can have them pretty much any day at any time and I won't blow my points on it. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to stick around and watch other videos on my channel, I'd appreciate it. But do not forget to see everybody else's channels and everybody else's five favorite snacks. I will link everybody in the uh, description box below. Um, I don't think I'll list these out because you should have watched the video. Am I right? <laughs> But that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you are a regular on my channel, I know that I have not been uploading as often. I have just been a busy girl. I've just been busy. I have work. I'm in real estate school. I have a full, I was going to say, I was going to say I have a full-time boyfriend. I mean, it's true. Um, I started dating somebody about a month and a half ago. And we just like to spend time together. So I've been busy with him. Um, I get busy with my family because they live in town. So... I've just been kind of busy. So thank you for putting up with me and coming back to my channel. Anytime I do upload, obviously this is just a hobby for me, so I just do it in my free time, but I do love to be on YouTube and post things that are helpful or just whatever I wanna post at the time. Um, Hutch loves it too. He's enjoying all of the sweet comments that he gets. Oh, this sweet boy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Can you look at the camera? That would be good. There you go. Can you look at the camera? I always look like I'm choking him, but... Okay, bye, y'all.